At New Flyer, we're more than just a global leader in zero emission bus technology. We're shaping the future of mass mobility. Since launching the world's first hydrogen fuel cell electric bus in 1993, we've been relentlessly innovating to remain at the forefront of the industry for a cleaner, greener world. Today, we're here to demystify how a hydrogen fuel cell electric bus operates, ensuring you grasp the essentials in just five minutes. Let's start with the most abundant element in the universe, hydrogen, an atom with one proton and one electron. To make a bus run, we need two of these, which make a hydrogen molecule. Why hydrogen? Because when we use gasoline or diesel to power vehicles, they also produce carbon dioxide and nitrogen oxides, two major greenhouse gases causing air pollution. But when we use hydrogen as fuel, it produces energy and water and nothing else. Okay, let's put our hydrogen fuel cell electric bus together. We'll need a few high pressure tanks to hold the hydrogen. Instead of an internal combustion engine to turn the wheels, we'll use an electric motor. Now, to run that electric motor, we need something to convert the hydrogen into electricity. And that something is a hydrogen fuel cell system. Here's how it works. First, we bring hydrogen gas from the high pressure tanks and direct it to the anode inside each fuel cell. Using catalysts, the anode splits the hydrogen molecules into hydrogen ions, also known as protons, and free electrons. The protons move through a proton exchange membrane, or PEM for short. This membrane is specially designed to let protons pass through, but it blocks electrons and gases from getting across. The electrons are then conducted on current collector components and are brought to an external electrical circuit. As the electrons flow through the circuit, they generate an electric current. This electric current is used to power the vehicle. Oxygen also plays a crucial role. It is taken from the surrounding air and added at the cathode. With the help of catalysts, the oxygen molecules split into oxygen ions. Once the electrons arrive, they join with the hydrogen and oxygen ions. And two hydrogen atoms plus one oxygen atom makes H2O, water, and nothing else. Instead of sending the electricity from the fuel cell directly to the motor, we store it in batteries for later use. A DC to DC converter changes the energy level of the fuel cell to match the energy level of the batteries. This stored energy powers the motor and other electrical systems on the bus, like air conditioning, whenever it's needed. A large battery can also provide an additional boost when needed and recapture more energy during regenerative braking. Speaking of being energy efficient, the fuel cell also creates heat as a byproduct of the electrochemical reaction. We make use of this heat by capturing it and sending it back into the bus when it's cold outside. This supplements the electric heater, which saves the electrical energy we've made to keep the bus running. This also helps make the bus's range more consistent throughout the year. One last thing to know, what infrastructure will you need to manage your hydrogen supply? Through NFI Infrastructure Solutions, we can help with that too. Whether you'll be producing hydrogen fuel on-site, taking delivery from a supplier, or both. Best of all, when you go hydrogen fuel cell electric, you get fast refueling, zero emissions, and greater range. All while meeting the highest safety standards. Now that you know how a hydrogen fuel cell electric bus works, Imagine the impact it could have on your communities. Ready to learn more and be part of the clean energy revolution? Contact us today to find out how we're driving the sustainable future of transportation. Visit newflyer.com forward slash FC.